Hi, so now our new module is all about the word slope. What does slope mean? Slope means it's either the incline or the steepness, okay, that something changes either vertically, horizontally, most of the time, both. Um, some people call it rise over run. You'll hear that a lot. You'll see that a lot. Rise over run means rising. It's changing vertically up or down. Horizontally is your run. It's running left to right. So what is slope? It is rise over run. How much am I going up or down versus how much am I going left to right? So there are three different ways that we can do this. One is to count boxes is the way we call it, which means this. You're going to see a picture with two points on it, and to find the slope in between the two points, you count how high up it goes versus how far over it goes, um, or how far down it goes versus how far over it goes. That's counting boxes. You can use the slope formula, which I've given you the equation. Um, the slope formula, m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. The main thing that you need to focus on in that formula is the fact that the rise part, the vertical change, are the y values. And the y values need to be on top because you go up or down. Then the x values represent the horizontal change, okay? So that's your number left to right. The last way is to actually use what we call the slope intercept equation of a line, which is y is equal to mx plus b. Now maybe you've seen that before, which if you've watched previous videos, I did use that when we were solving literal equations. Um, it's one of the most used forms. It's the easiest form to use when you're going to graph a line, which we're going to do you know, several lessons from now. But it helps us find the slope very easily if it's already in y equals mx plus b, which is why I wanted you to get used to manipulating a formula so that you could get a y by itself or an x by itself, whatever letter you need to make things easier for you when you're going to graph or find whatever value it is that you're looking for, okay? So we're going to spend a lot of time in this module talking about slope, how to find it, and then how to use it to help us graph. All right? So come back.